هدیه ای بود خداوند بعد ده سال به ما داد این دنیا آمده بود هفت ماه دنیا آمد یک کیلو دیویس گرم بود یعنی یعنی آمدم کانادا سه ماه تو بیمارستان بود تو دستگاه تو این گواتر بود همومش کردم شیرش دادم مامیش میرفت سر کار دادیش میرفت سر کار چارده ماه خانم نگه داشتم اونجوری هم سه ماه هیفده ماش بود من رفتم ایران حالا میگم دریا رو میبینم اینجور بزرگ شده ها اونها خوشحالا خوشحالا میگم خدا این اینقدر بچه بوده این اینقدر بچه بوده اینقدر بزرگ شده الان خانم رو گوش به حرف من میده بعدن رامین رو برنسی تصمیم گرفتن یه بچه بیاره خداوند اینا فدا داد هدیه داد به نام تایگا تایگا We don't know if that's where he's from, but that's where we brought him home from, Taiyuan, from the uh, orphanage in Taiyuan. We took the plane and fly, 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 fly to here, Montreal. Oh, how did we meet? We were studying at the U at the library together. We know Concordia very well because we go there all the time. I show them where mommy and daddy met in Concordia, where our classes were, and uh, where was daddy's locker. I was the third generation in my family not marry a Chinese. It wasn't like total shock that I was going out with a non-Chinese, but I think that the, the, the shocking thing was that I was going out with uh, a Muslim. I came to Quebec to Montreal in April of 1985, when I was mm, almost 20 years old. Uh, it was a time of war and revolution and no future for us. Uh, and, um, and Canada had an uh, open arm and welcomed new fresh immigrants and so that's how the decision was made uh, and I came to Montreal in order to not have to learn French immediately and the first word I heard was bonjour monsieur <laughs> I'm very grateful for that big mistake that changed my destiny and had I not made that mistake I would not have met my wife and I would not have had this life. It was difficult um, because I, I grew up in communist China. So I didn't even know there was something called refrigerator. We didn't have refrigerators. We didn't have stoves. We didn't have television. Television is a very big deal for them because they watch it once or twice a week. Uh, sometimes if they do all their homework and everything is done at night, they watch 10 minutes before they go to sleep. That's only to make them quiet. Ils sont encouragés de jouer ensemble. Donc euh, c'est bon, c'est bon pour leur sens de de d'amitié, de développer des relations, comment négocier les différences entre les deux. C'est c'est pour une raison spécifique qu'on les protège jusqu'à l'âge de 6 ans, 7 ans, contre la technologie. Après ça, oui, on accepte. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh-huh. You went, I got... They get logical thinking, rationality, from the Chinese side. They get literary expression and poetic expression from their Persian side. 
and they get practical thinking, nitty-gritty of life from their Western upbringing. What we have agreed on was that we would raise our children. Yeah. <clears throat> um, like I would talk to them, I would raise them, I would teach them my culture and my language and he would do the same with his. So that's why you know, I, I've always talked to my kids in, in Chinese, I talked to my daughter in Cantonese ever since she was born and then I, I talked to my son in Mandarin ever since we, we brought him home and they still talk to me. First language they ever talk to me when they open their mouth is the language I talked to them when I first talked to them. So I asked her in Cantonese to bring me some tomatoes for cooking. She said she's not finished. I asked him, he answered me in Mandarin and said he's not finished either. <laughs> we have Chinese books. Then we have Farsi books. <laughs> now of course when the kids ask me to tell a Farsi book, Story. I don't know how to tell it. I just look at the picture and I just tell what the picture says. And of course then when daddy tells the story, he can tell it correct. So next time when I tell the story, my daughter will correct me. That's not what daddy said. Amen. <laughs> well, I have the most important career in the world. I look after my kids. <laughs> uh, I'm also a yoga and martial arts teacher. I teach uh, an art called Budokan, which is uh, uh, influenced by yoga and martial arts. It's the philosophy of what we practice pretty much goes against what the society teaches you. Uh, it's a very difficult art to practice, difficult because it is extremely slow and it takes a lot of patience. Speed hides weakness, speed kills detail, and the way you do anything is the way you do everything. First thing that we say and we practice is that we don't accept social pressures for professions and we don't put those kinds of pressures. We try to teach them to be happy with their own skills and interests and desires. They can become whatever they want, but they have to want it and they have to work for it. O mundo é pequeno pra caramba Tem alemão, italiano, italiana O mundo filé milanesa Tem coreano, japonês, japonesa O mundo é uma salada russa Tem nego da Pérsia, tem nego da Prússia O mundo é uma esfirra de carne Tem nego do Zâmbia, tem nego do Zai O mundo é azul lá de cima O mundo é vermelho na China Thank you.